Hey, Cole. Hey, Dad. That was my favorite camper. Everything there all right? We're all about to turn in for the night. How'd you like your first day? I hated it. What? How could you hate it? I had so much fun when I was there at your age. It's not fun at all. Not fun? Why? The food is crap, my legs are sore, and all little campers are buttholes. Watch your language! The older campers keep saying it. Well, you know your mother wouldn't like that language, so you don't use it once you're back in the house. Okay. Is that creepy old cabin on the other side of the lake still there? Yeah, we passed by it. It was in the canoeing. You won't believe the stories about that thing. The counselors mentioned some of them, I think. The lake is a bit creepier, though, I think. What do you mean? Why? One of the campers drowned there four summers ago. He was at the swing by himself and no counselors were around. The weird part is they never found a body even though they searched the whole lake. Oh, God, on. Sounds like a spooky campfire story. We already told those and they were dumb. Two stories are scarier to me. Well, you stay safe there, okay, buddy? I will, Dad. Don't worry. I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? Sounds good. We love you, Miss you, Cole. We'll see you in two weeks. <sighs> Night, Dad. Night, Cole. Dad, are you awake? Dad. What is it? Are you okay? Something really messed up just happened. What? All the camp councils are gone and their beds are bloody. Someone dumped a bucket of blood on the blankets. Cole, you need to call the police right now. This is serious. Do you hear me? What's happening there? Everyone's freaking out? Has anyone called the police? Yeah, someone already did. They told us to stay put and they'll be here soon. The nearest police station is an hour away, from what I remember. Some of the kids are talking about grabbing the flashlights and running to the woods. Don't leave the campfire, Cole. Say exactly where you are until the police arrive, okay? Do you hear me? They're leaving right now. Stay put. Don't follow them. I'm serious, Cole. Okay, Dad. <laughs> what do you think happened to those counselors? Do you think it could have been an animal or something? It just sounds weird that the bodies are nowhere to be found. I don't know, Cole, but just remain calm. The police will be there soon. I'm already freaked out, Dad. I know, son. Keep your head down and breathe in and out. There's screaming coming from the woods. Don't go in there. It sounds like they're being hurt or something. Like they're being attacked? Huh? Cole, listen to me. The number one priority right now is for you to remain safe. Tell me everything that's going on around you right now. We're all huddled together. People are crying and really scared. Some kids are running away. Dad, am I going to die? No, son. You're not going to die. Nothing's going to happen to you. Something's coming out of the woods. Find some place to hide and stay safe there. I repeat, stay there and do not move at all. Okay. I just crawled underneath the bed. There's screaming came from the campsite. I think whatever it is, the king out of the woods is here now. Oh my goodness, the dad, it's about to come into my tent. I can hear it. Don't make a peep. Whatever you do, stay as silent and still as possible. Cole! Cole is a god! <laughs> Dad, I think I'm going to be sick. What is it? I don't know. Its feet looked human. But it's making the noise that didn't sound like anything I've ever heard. Like a death rattle. I need to get out of here. Stay underneath the bed, Cole. I want to get out of here. You're going to endanger yourself. 
Please just be patient. No, Dad, I don't want to stay here for one more minute. I feel so sick. What are you going to do? Going to go? I'm going to find my way back to the town and find help. Cole, please stay underneath that bed. Please. No. I'm already in the woods. I'm getting out of the way we came in. What about that thing you saw? Whatever it was. You don't see it anywhere. It's just me right now. Okay, please keep texting me so I know you're alive. Okay. The branches keep getting in my eyes. It's really quiet in here. I'm at the lake now. I hope you're not thinking of crossing it. I'm a good swimmer. No, Carl! I need to cross it, Dad. It's the only way I can get help. Carl, do you hear me? Don't you dare swim across that lake. Carl, answer me, are you there? Oh, gosh! Carl, please be okay! Dad, I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. You scared the living dad out of me. Sorry. I'm about to pass that cabin. Wait. What? There's a death rattle coming from the woods. Death rattle? Call. Call. 